Can't sit on my feet. <laughs> this is the conspiracy podcast, but before we get into that, we're gonna go over some the uh, some quick comments. The quick comments from last week. My Shane and Mike with stand. <laughs> Mike who? Mike with stand. <laughs> Because it's like, because all you can see is just the mic, because Chris oh. always hides behind it. Matt, Poor guy. Matt, that's my favorite comment too, buddy. You There's, gotta get laugh Shane, you one. have to read the one that you told me about. Yeah, yeah. so I got two. Number one is uh, Guy123. When it comes to driving, <laughs> cut Drew some slack. He can't reach the pedals and see over the steering wheel at the same time. <laughs> um, and then the other one, I had to that's scroll funny. deep for this. Uh, it's a it's a question for you, Christian. Oh God, <laughs> this is Christian. So... If there if Tesla made a motorcycle, oh, yeah. <laughs> would you buy it and ride it, or is your spinal column too fragile? <laughs> I saw that right before podcast. I was like, I can guarantee you, Shane's gonna bring this up. Oh, I, I know. I literally that. woke up. It was have... a Saturday, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up, checked my phone. First thing I see is that I was lying in bed, just like giggling to myself. I messaged... I was like, it's a good Saturday. <laughs> yeah. I messaged it to both of them. Um, my favorite, which I didn't have to scroll so far to see, is Shane's yeah, gonna look like Gru me. by episode 100 <laughs> if he doesn't start sitting up. It's a combination of this chair, this table, and like Gru. Your bullshit. Like Gru from Despicable <laughs> Me. Oh, like the... this. And okay, now I understand. Buddy. Thanks. <laughs> my back's already sore trying to keep a straight back. And then one other one that I just found funny was Give Me My Property Back, Rob. Give me my... They're like hippity hoppity. Your girlfriend's now Rob's property. <laughs> 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 this guy shows up please drop <laughs> please let's get a DM from him man I was kidding I'll be DMing back I wasn't <laughs> are you okay. doing your are we going right into it yeah so for conspiracy <laughs> theories you need the X-Files music or the Wii menu music <laughs> or, a com- or a combination <laughs> of them <laughs> anyways um, <laughs> so <laughs> my first one is we're not gonna get like too su- too super in depth with it because it's not like well we say that but it's a conspiracy well, series. I gotta waste a lot of mine. <laughs> we gotta waste a lot of time on these first two because once it gets to this side of the table, <laughs> the quality goes down real no, quick. My, you don't mind? That's <laughs> yeah, awful. My <laughs> my last one will I think that will last a while. Um, Juice but, is probably like our Komodo dragons, real dragons. <laughs> you're you're actually unbelievably close. I'm excited. Really? <laughs> <laughs> just go continue. Anyway, so the first conspiracy I want to talk about was something that I actually have an example of from today. Okay. So Illuminati, you guys know what that is, right? Yep. What is the, it? The triangle thing. It's the conspiracy that like a few powerful people control the entire world. We the new. <laughs> you guys were like this. Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> oh, so the, the the new world order. Yeah, exactly. So okay. that's that's the Illuminati. Um. And so my sister took a conspiracy theories class and she was studying it. Where'd she go to school? Like fucking. <laughs> it was like, it was an elective for her college, <laughs> for her postgrad. Um, but so she did. The school of Scientology. It's probably an arts she, degree. She did a conspiracy theories when I was like analyzing them. And so she chose to do the Illum- Illuminati and she got super into it, was like looking at a bunch of stuff. And after spending like three hours, she said, looking at a website of like She's all the in. Illuminati stuff, <laughs> she got a phone call. And it was like a robotic male voice being like, hello, hello. And it just wouldn't stop saying it until she said hello back. And then it hung up. And then after that, she got spooked being like, the fuck? It's like, Illuminati is real. It was like from an unknown number and stuff. So she's just like, who the fuck was this? Like, why are they calling me after I looked up all this stuff about the Illuminati? So the only reason she told me that is because this morning I messaged her saying, give me a good conspiracy theory to talk about because I didn't do my <laughs> research. <laughs> and then so she messaged me all that, but I hadn't opened it yet. It was on like the Snapchat messaging. Mm-hmm. And after she sent it, three minutes later, I get a missed call from like a spam number, and then I hadn't, I still hadn't looked at her message, and I was like, oh, I should go look at my voicemails because I had two. Uh, screen the first one, and then the second one, it's like a female going like, hello, hello, and it just hangs up. Send her my way then, man, damn. It. And then so, I, and then I looked at her message, and I deleted the voicemail because like, oh, it's just a spam call or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I see her message, I was like, what the fuck? Like, what are the, what's the chance of the timing on this of like? As soon as she messaged me about the Illuminati, I get a call doing the exact same thing. There's that no such thing as, as a coincidence in this day and age. Yeah. How how many people is your sister pissed off? I don't know. Someone just has like a tap on her phone. So your mom got that call. <laughs> your cousins got that call. Or maybe call. some like web hacker is like just creeping that website she was on. Just maybe. Just calling people out of the blue being like, I'm going to give this person such a scare today. <laughs> <laughs> but it just kind of weirded me out because like I'm I'm pretty rational guy. But I was like, that's Wait, so, a weird. So, so do we believe there's an Illuminati? 
I don't think there's the Illuminati in the sense that they control there's everything. There's definitely some yeah. sort of secret society. At the end of oh, every yeah. theory, we should we should say we think it we should, we think it's true or it's not true. I think there is some sort of like like secrets like yeah. high level oh, society Illuminati, like torturing people and like well, all that kind of shit. It's been proven been, across countries. Yeah, like there's oh, got to yeah. be some sort of like it's it's been proven to some degree about uh like Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, he like, had like a huge circle of like a lot of very powerful people from across the world that were all on like pedophile island with him. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he could have what? what? He could have no. he could have gotten no. he could have gotten <laughs> exposed, or he could have like what do you call not blackmail, just like expose yeah. everybody else. So like, and then he dies in a maximum security prison from being hanged, even though there were supposed suicide. to people. Like mm-hmm. that's one thing where it's like it's not even necessarily conspiracy theory. It's just politicians just can't, just. Not even politicians, just rich people. Or just rich people who don't want to get thrown under some sort of bus. Mm-hmm. Well, deservedly so if they're pedophiles, but like, they would just die in maximum security prison. And if you're the guards were taking On a On suicide break, watch. Yeah. It's like the guards are supposed With to be cameras. Sure. Correct. Yeah. Like, what the camera show? Um, they, 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 they were conveniently erased. They weren't erased. working then. Or they, yeah, they didn't okay, work yeah, in that so time like, frame. And also, <laughs> and half a brain can be he, like... He was on 24-7 uh, suicide watch until that happened, in which case... I think they either chose to take him off of it for like 10 minutes or it, both the people who were supposed to be watching him took a break at the same time. They're like, you yeah. know what? This guy's mind's probably changed in the last yeah, 48 hours. He's it's not suicidal yeah. anymore. Fuck yeah. it. Let's go so for, let's go for did, a coffee. We're going to try no suicide watch for 10 minutes. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Just kills himself instantly. <laughs> they go back to the chief. Our reports show that it does not work. <laughs> we should not do this we anymore. We tried. <laughs> maybe, maybe we got to be careful now for sitting here exposing that. Oh, we're just theorizing. We have no idea. Operation oh, yeah. Use was a fail. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm-hmm. um, Paperclip. If any of us or die, we... I guess, before next week, I think we understand why. I will say that all, of us, have, <laughs> all of us have given our thoughts. Drew has been surprisingly quiet over there. Yeah. I'm part of it. White male, <laughs> white family, yeah. rich, rich family. Yeah. Oh, who knows? White man. girlfriend who we don't know much about. <laughs> yeah. Just could be like a hologram. He, he leaves could be like a, like a lizard person or something. Yeah, Drew could be a lizard for all we know. Yeah. <laughs> well, Quiet what? down. <laughs> all right, sorry. All right, that's your first one? Uh, yeah. Because I, re- I really want to hear Drew's TV on. No, you're up. It's like, my turn? Way. Yeah, oh, circle. circle. Okay, one sec. Let me get my... <laughs> pull uh, up his report. Let me pull up my uh, field... <laughs> From do- grade two. He field <laughs> documents here. So... He's just like, mine- there is bad people. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is that the Denver International Airport is actually a hub for like neo Nazis. Been and, there, not true. And the uh, <laughs> well, explain this. You were there. <laughs> Why do I feel like I've heard something about that airport recently? Because I, because they they put out like a statement. They were trolling conspiracy theorists because they they know how big of a thing it is. What you might have heard from me is I think it's the same one. It has like a giant horse statue with like red eyes. Isn't this where we were? Yeah, we, yeah, okay. we stopped yeah. at that so, airport. So um, basically, the original thing is like. The first Denver airport was completely fine. Like everyone, like it was like not in need everyone of repair. Liked it. Yeah, right. it, was, it was a good airport. You know, it did airport things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then they randomly Great scrapped it and built a new one that was like, it's the biggest airport like out of all the major hub transportation hubs in, the, in North America. <laughs> just reading right off this <laughs> fucking thing. Yeah. This, is this Wikipedia? It's just like a. It's just some random. It's just some random like. <laughs> just some random like uh, website that compiled all this for me. Um, but the, it's like way too big for an airport. Like it's like five times the size of any other major airport. Like it's Denver. Not too many people are flying there, I imagine, mm-hmm. compared to like it's Chicago. A place, yeah, there's also a giant blue. There's <laughs> a giant blue horse structure called Blucifer outside of it. Oh, that's yeah. that has glowing red eyes. It actually looks pretty fucking freaky. I'm not gonna lie. Pit? Yeah, here, put that to the camera. We actually. didn't get to see it. I don't think. Did we? Um, no, we didn't leave. This when we were like sprinting Yo, through the that airport. Real? Yeah, the dude, that's that's in front of the airport. And the guy who sculpted it, yeah. it he uh, died. The thing, one of the hooves fell on him and killed him while he was I, making and it. And it was when like on opening day, yeah, like when they was finishing. Like, it was like they were Little legend. They're putting the finishing touches on it, and then one of the parts just fell off and killed the guy. And then uh, if you look from like the from airborne Dude. from the like, from the airborne, while you're airborne, <laughs> yep. bird's all, eye view. all bir- for bird's eye view, all the um, runways are shaped like sort of it's vague, but like they should like swastikas. So it's like you know that's another thing. That? Um, I'm trying I'm to imagine what that would one. be landing like because like so each arm of the swastika is like a nine degree angle. So there's one plane like landing, yeah, and the other one just yeah. lands in front of they're, it. They're banked. <laughs> it, it, it's, <laughs> It's like, a battle oh, Tokyo ro- it's like yeah. a battle royale if we get to land first. <laughs> Daytona 500. <laughs> but here's the thing that, like, at first it's easy to kind of brush off, oh, it's all bullshit. 
this new airport was randomly commissioned by the New World Airport Commission. And like this is the slab that order. they have in the uh, main hallway. If you can put that to the camera, it's like a Masonic logo, and it says New World Airport Commission. Dang. And but the thing is, if you look at the, if you look at the website for the New World Airport Commission, it doesn't exist. It's not a thing. Like nice. it's just not there. So then it's just like, who did what the this? hell? Yeah, who did that? Who is the New World Airport Commission? We got ourselves a good old who done it. Yeah, literally. And then the last two things is one sec. The stupid website is not being kept up to here, date. Here before, like our comment Maybe. section is just full of people from Denver defending their freaking pride <laughs> <Yeah>. and joy. <laughs> Um, and then there's like doomsday art on all the walls, like that part's so sketch. Yeah, like and like the hallways, and there's there's like this underground section of yeah, the building, underground yeah, yeah, yeah. tunnels that span hundreds of miles, and others. See, claim, there's claimed to be underground bunkers that will be used used by the world's elite when the apocalypse see, arrives. See, everything I didn't believe until like I one day read that part. Yeah, I'm like what the why? Why really, does an airport need doesn't really make like miles sense. of underground tunnels? So what's interesting about Dude, that? That airport, sounds scarily legit. Yeah, here's like that here's part the is. So you want to know apocalypse it's, art and like let me get a good image of it let me get it good uh this isn't the, like the, there's one of like a nazi soldier like i don't even know if you can see it but this is basically just like a it's like a representative from every country or nation in the world all being like pooled together and then it's just kind of looks kind of morbid that's not even like underground like we walk past that, that looks yeah. happy well like yeah. it's just like another one of those it's things where it's like um, you're never here. seeing it